Hey guys, it's Frankie with Rock the Riff here, and I am back. Uh, you probably checked out my video uh, doing a guitar jam to Blueberry Fago, and uh, that's a pretty cool jam. I was listening to it recently, and I just love the chords on it, and I thought it would be cool to do a jam. Well, I'm back today to teach you uh, the rhythm that the rhythm chords I was playing to that jam. A very cool jazz chords. Funny story, I actually learned these chords from Zeke, my son, who you always see on here in Rock the Riff. Uh, he actually learned it on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, he was playing it. He's like, Dad, I, uh, I finally learned some jazz chords. And uh, he learned it on TikTok. It was cool. Uh, he showed it to me. I love the chords and decided to make that video I did. So right now I'm going to show you the backing track that I made for it. And this track. I actually made using my brand new Boss RC500 pedal, which is really cool. I'm gonna do another video on that pretty soon, but um, I recorded a, I got, they have some really cool drum beats, so this is the beat I use for it. Pretty tight. A uh, little pop R&B beat there. And this is actually the track that I made with the uh, RC500 uh, and did the guitar solo on top of it. So here's the chords. Of course, I just uh, did the lead on top of it. Anyway, so um, I, I got a few messages uh, wondering what that track was. So I want to show you the chords because the chords are pretty cool. They're really uh, simple jazz, four chords, has a little couple notes in it. But I figured I'd take some time to show it to you. So. Uh, I've been studying jazz for the last year a little more intensely, um, so I'm more familiar with these jazz chords. But if if you're not into jazz chords yet, you should. They're very. You should get into it. They're very cool, different type of chords. The, the funny thing I noticed is that they they uh, they're named a little different. You know, a G minor jazz chord is different than a regular G minor chord, and so we're going to use a G minor nine here. So if you haven't gotten into these jazz chords, you should. They're really cool. They uh, they just spice up the guitar playing for me and give me something new to mess with. So the first chord um, is going to be a, a G minor nine and G minor nine. So you're going to put your uh, all these chords again. I, I like to use my fingers to pluck them instead of using a pick. It gives it a more uh, I don't know more synth sound to it. I do have a little bit of modulation on my guitar so it's not straight clean. I have some little modulation I got from my reverb pedals giving it a little more color. Sounds like it has a little flanger in the back too. Anyway, so uh, first one, G minor 9. You want to go ahead and put your middle finger. Um, and when we're referring to fingers I like to in all my guitar lessons I like to refer to the first finger is the pointer finger, the second is the middle, the third is the ring finger, and then of course the pinky. So uh, I'll just be referring to the fingers with those names uh, throughout this little lesson here. So uh, first one you're going to do to get the G minor 9 sound, you're going to put your middle finger on the 10th fret of the 5th string, uh, put your pointer finger on the 4th string, what is that, 8th fret? Yes. And then your ring finger is going to be on the third string, uh, 10th fret, and your pinky is going to be right under it on the second string, 10th fret. And I'm actually just uh, going to pluck only those strings with my with my hand. My thumbs on the uh, fifth string, um, and then my first fingers on the fourth string, middle finger on the third, uh, ring fingers on the second. So I just go like, there you go, very nice, very jazzy. We're on our way to playing Blueberry Fago. By the way, I heard that Blueberry Fago was named after, uh, I think like a Slurpee or something like that. <laughs> that the guy used to like, a uh, little mosey. Anyways, side note, back to the chords. So that's the first chord, it goes. Second chord is a C13. You're gonna drop your pointer finger on the top string of the eighth fret, uh, middle finger on the fourth string, 
um, same eighth fret. Ring finger is going to be on the third string, ninth fret. Pinky on the second string, tenth fret, and you got this. Again, I am hitting all these notes uh, with my finger. Uh, say, same thing with the right hand. I am skipping the fifth string because we're not hitting a note on there. Uh, so I'm just uh, thumbs on the top. The other one, uh, my other three fingers are getting the what was at the fourth, third, and second. Just there you go. So we got so far the G minor nine, C thirteen. All right, halfway there. Uh, here we got a little a little note thing. It goes. Uh, well, I'll show you the, the 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 chord that we're going to do next is the F minor seven uh, suspended two. So we're going to bar the eighth fret from the fifth string down. We're barring it. Then we are going to have our middle finger on the third string ninth fret, ring finger on the fourth string tenth fret. And of course we're here. Very nice sound. We're, we're not even plucking the first and sixth string. Just show, again, I'm using all my fingers here to go right there. Um, but the, there's a little lead thing that goes before it, and it's just uh, hitting the eighth fret, second string, and then the first string. So it goes like that right before the note. So what I do is, is I'm hitting the, the G9 here, G minor nine, C13. And then I bar it, and before I put that down, because I don't want my fingers to get in the way, I just go like. Then you hit it. So you, I'm barring, I'm barring the eight, and I hit the two. The second string, then the first string, both on the eight, and then I drop down, get that uh, F minor seventh suspended two. So you gotta do it together. Uh, practice it. Um, like I said, I, th I find it the easiest to just a bar. The A, it's already ready, getting uh, ready for the chord that's coming up. You're like, very nice, very clean, huh? And then the very last chord, it's gonna be, let's see, we got. Okay, we got a D7 here. The final chord is a D7, and what we're going to do is you're going to bar um, the 10th fret, uh, this time all the strings from the top to the bottom, um, and we are omitting, again, the 5th string, so we're not going to hit the 5th string, so your right hand thumb is going to be on the top string, and then um, 1, 2, 3 on the 4th, 3rd, uh, and 2nd, and um, so your index finger is just barring the 10, and your Middle finger of left hand is on the third string and the eleventh fret. Okay, third string eleventh. Uh, again, we're not uh, plucking the uh, fifth fifth string, so it should sound like this. Very nice, right? And then again, before you repeat the cycle, there's a note in the song, and what what I do is I drop my ring finger on the third string, and I'm gonna hit the twelfth fret, so it's gonna be like. A little, just a little, just a little uh, in between note. So it goes again. The chord goes, then it repeats again. So I'll do the whole thing once through, just so you can hear it together. Um, pretty simple. Once you, uh, if you're not familiar with with jazz chords, it might take you a while to get your fingers used to these positions, used to getting in these shapes, because normally chords are just shapes, so when you're, when you're used to your chords, you're used to the shape, your left hand gets that shape. Um, jazz chords, you know, they're different, so they're new shapes for your left hand, but once you get used to it, it's pretty easy, and what's better is once you memorize them, it's even, it's even easier, because you know exactly what, what they're called. So, but again, here we go. drop a little beat if you have a drum machine check it out um, find a good beat to it the tempo I think for this song let me check it out real quick tempo is at 99 99 beats per minute and uh, 
Loops is an app for your phone which has a cool um, drum machine in there. You could use it, just put it. I, I like to play with drums. It just sounds cool, sounds more lively. Uh, it helps you with your timing. So there's a lot of good reasons to do that. If you can't get one of these pedals yet, uh, use Loops. It's a free app and they got different styles there. It works. I recently got this, so I'm loving it. So you could drop the, the bass, I mean the drums. You got, there we go, come on. Woo! Oh, I messed up, don't worry. I won't edit it. And there you have it guys. That's the that was the chords to Blueberry Fago. Um, I hope you have as much fun with it as I did. Um, of course, once you you know if you have a simple looper, you could just record yourself doing the chords and then experiment with some leads. Uh, of course, you saw you probably saw my lead video. If not, you could check it out. Should be a link uh, right above you, and uh, you could check out that little lead. I tried in my lead. I tried to copy a little bit of the intro, um, little melody that uh, I believe a horn does there, and then I just had fun with it after towards the end. Very short, simple, but it's fun. It's groovy. It's a great, great track. Um, if you're interested in learning that lead, let me know. Uh, it's gonna take me a little longer to break down that lead for you, but I. Definitely don't mind doing it if you guys really want to learn it. Uh, if not, I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for checking out this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, share it with a friend, like, subscribe. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot more um, cool videos this year. Hopefully, to hopefully get on a regular track. And you'll see my son up here next time. He's not here with me right now, but uh, but he's the superstar. He's a rock star. So you'll see him doing a lot of cool things uh, with me most of the time. And uh, we're going to be doing a uh, Hopefully, I want to show you this. I keep looking down at this this awesome RC500 pedal. I'm in love with it. It's cool. Can't wait to show you all about that. Anyways, take care, guys. Um, as my son always says, make sure you play the guitar daily. All right. See you later on Rock the Rift. Bye.